Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for being patient with me in getting these readings out. Um, I'm slowly working through them. I understand we're already in March, but um, it is what it is, guys. Uh, the energies have been really rough lately and there have been a lot of us readers out here that have been really struggling with it or maybe not struggling, everyone's not struggling with it, but it at least has been a challenge. So. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so we are doing your monthly reading for March 2019. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to look into your personal situation, go ahead and email me the info for my email address and all the offers that I, all the readings that I offer is in the description box below. If you'd like to, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And you can check me out on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. Yeah. So without further ado, let's just do this. So I'm, uh, I'm doing this a little bit differently than normal. As you can see, I'm recording this so that you guys can like look at me and we can have like a kind of conversation here. Um, but I'm going to be starting with your Oracle card to be getting a energy or an insight into what the month is for you, looking like for you energetically. And then I will be resuming the normal reading with the um, Golden Universal Tarot, which is my um, freestyle reading. And I'm going to be using the Unicorn Oracle for your Oracle card. All right, so let's do it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, here we go. So let's see what you, we've got for you oracle-wise for the month of March 2019 for all my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Virgo. One more shuffle. And let's see what we've got. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have to say, there we go. I, I do have to say that life has been pretty rough for me since that full moon that we had that was in Virgo on, uh, what was it, the 19th of February, I think. Um, man, did that hit me hard. And I, I honestly, I mean, we just had the new moon yesterday because uh, today is the day that I'm recording this is March 7th. We had the new moon in Pisces. Pisces and Virgo are exact opposites. Um, I don't know if you guys have been dealing, feeling it, but like it just, that full moon hit me and it hit me really hard and it brought me back to where I was in the, in a mind space where I was in when I was like in a kid. Um, and in Western astrology, Virgo is my rising sign and it does seem, and I, I know I, I'm speak I don't know why I'm, I'm being guided to talk with, speak with you guys about this, but maybe there are some of you out there that are going through a similar thing, but Whenever something happens in Virgo, it usually tends to hit me pretty hard. Um, I've started to come to understand that maybe Virgo isn't like one of my favorite signs, but I don't know. Let me know in the description box if you guys are feeling anything, uh, anything similar. But you have imagination. Okay. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Okay, so now I think I understand why um, Spirit was guiding me or why I was feeling cha um, called to, to discuss that because me personally, I've been going through a situation in which a lot in my life is being redefined. I'm finding that I need to pull myself back into alignment. Um, and I do think this is exactly what this is talking about here. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Um, the one phrase that's sticking out for me the most from this card is give yourself uh, permission to dream. So what that, personally, what I feel like that is really saying for us Virgos, right, um, is... 
to allow ourselves to envision a new reality. What it is that we truly want? What do we want to be doing? Is there something in your life that you're experiencing or you're doing that really doesn't resonate with you any longer? Or maybe it's just the way you're going about it. Maybe there's a new approach to something that you could be taking that would be bringing a fresh new life or a fresh new perspective into the situation for you. I just, giving yourself permission to dream feels like the main message here. Um, getting yourself out of the um, the mundane aspects of your routine, even though that's somewhere that you kind of thrive as a Virgo um, for the most part, um, allowing yourself to change things up to, like I said, uh, take a new approach, um, envision a new reality also spirit is saying, you know, what is it that could you add, could you add something into your life that maybe may bring a new zest into it? Um, maybe this could even be now we're moving into spring soon. We're going to be having the equinox, um, towards the end of March. So maybe that has to do with like some spring cleaning, you know, maybe it's time to really start going through some of your things. Um, and some of, some of the possessions within your home and seeing what it is you don't really need anymore so that you can make space for a new reality, right? Okay, cool. So now let's get into your tarot here for the Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And like I said before, guys, this is a general reading, all right? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's... It's not often that you'll run into a reading in which everything resonates for you, okay? So if something does resonate for you, you know, fit that in where it does. But if there's another part of the message that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it, okay? It just wasn't a message for you. And again, if you really do want a look into what is going on for you specifically, personally, no matter who you're watching, no matter whose general reading you're watching, you would need to get a personal reading from that person, uh, uh, from that reader, in order to really get a full picture, a full scope of your personal situation, okay? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see. Some of you are actually probably feeling super creative during this time, which is great. Um, so maybe this might be a month where art if you're an artist um, or just whatever, some sort of creative pursuits for you, the, the juices are running strong, all right? So definitely take advantage of that. We have the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups has been coming out constantly. If you've been watching me regularly, you've been seeing this Knight of Cups energy and you've been hearing how I've been talking, how I'm referring to it. For the most part, on a large scale, on a collective scale, this Knight of Cups, in my opinion, is speaking to the cosmic heart chakra awakening that we are all experiencing. What does that mean? Well, um, first, let me say that we, we came from a cosmic mind awakening, okay? And that was an energy of um, awakening to your intuitive abilities, awakening to the laws of the universe, the law of attraction mainly, the law of free will, which <laughs> is a doozy, <laughs> you know, given your certain situations. Um, now we're moving into the law, the, into the cosmic heart awakening, and that is about getting to your center, getting back into your heart space, living from a space of an open and vulnerable heart. For a lot of us, for a lot of us, it's about getting in, and, and, and us, I don't mean just Virgos, I mean like collectively, okay? But for a lot of us, this means um, reconnecting with how living from a place of vulnerability or allowing yourself to be vulnerable is actually a beautiful place to live, a beautiful space to live in. It is actually a space of strength, right? It's, um, if you're not vulnerable, if you're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable, then you're not really allowing yourself to experience the fullness of what life has to offer. Now, that doesn't mean that you should be in a position where you're constantly allowing yourself to get hurt, used, uh, ran over, whatever, but it's allowing yourself in the right spaces to be vulnerable, to really experience the fullness of life, okay? Um, now, this Knight of Cups 
also for some of us, especially in terms of this imagination card, this Knight of Cups is about getting back to the truth of your heart and what you want to be doing and creatively expressing yourself, okay? But expressing yourself from the heart, true authentic heart space. This also could be someone coming forward to offer you some sort of love or appreciation, all right? Woof. You have the Ten of Swords. You have the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, the Page of Wands, excuse me. And you have the Four of Swords. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, I'm seeing for some of you that this is a situation in which you may have tried to give your, give your heart to someone or someone may have tried to give their heart to you and it just did not go well, okay? It ended very, very badly um, with the Ten of Swords. Now, with that said, the Ten of Swords energy is a completion, is an ending, okay? So uh, that fir first of all, the worst is in fact behind you. Um, and what I'm also getting with this Ten of Swords energy is that who, whatever this situation has been for you, um, and this definitely could be a love situation, but whatever this situation has been for you, someone really learned a, a very strong lesson. It may have been a lesson that um, you have been or they have been working on learning for some time, or at least you're, the universe had been trying to get you to learn for some time. Um, but I do think, <laughs> I do think the message has finally gotten across. Whatever that could be for you, this could be, you know, giving your heart or giving of yourself to people that are just going to con continue to deplete you. That uh, giving to um, non-balanced, non-reciprocal situations. Okay, this could be, a, it could have been a balance between give and take. But either way, whatever has happened here, this ending that has come about, it has led towards some sort of self-discovery or self-rediscovery, self. -rediscovery, self um, re-imaging it's a weird way of putting it but that's how it came out um the page of wands to me is very much about self-discovery uh especially if you look here it looks like this man even though i love that i love this deck because this person here looks like a grown-ass man okay but this is the page of wands all right so this is actually a testament to the fact that age ain't nothing but a number, y'all. You could go through a situation at any moment in your life and rediscover yourself or find a new piece of yourself that you didn't know was there. Spirit just said, find a new piece of the puzzle that is you, okay? I do feel like that's what's happening here. Someone is re-identifying themselves. Either you are Virgo or someone else that you are connected with or have been connected with in the past that you may no longer communicate with um, is going through a process of rediscovering themselves, re-identifying selves, understanding themselves from a, uh, ooh, Spirit just said from a larger picture, um, but from a different perspective also. And then also you have the Four of Swords underneath the deck here, underneath everything else. So this is definitely a restful time. I do feel like March is probably going to be a time where you're really trying to just, <laughs> just get through the rest of winter, um, there's, this is going to be a time for or for um, meditation, to for for quietness, for for rest, um, definitely rest. Um, probably not too much communication. Probably not too much uh, time with people. This just feels like a lot of time on your own right now. But there's a lot of healing that's happening here. Okay, if this is not the case that if this is not something that you're already in the energy of, you might need to um, think about taking as much time for self-care this month as you can because it's looking like there's some, there's some sort of dust that needs to settle here, okay? All right, so getting into the rest of your reading here, um, I am splitting this up and I'm, I, I'm, I, this reading consists of two rows. The first row is going to be labeled as your uh, energies for the first half of the month. The second row is going to be the energies for the second half of the month. But energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. So just take this as it resonates. It doesn't have to be so cut and dry being the first and then the half, the first half and then the second half of the month. Um, it, it could be intertwined. It could be interchanging. Um, but the reason why I'm saying it this way is just so that we have a way of identifying where we are in the reading, um, just for a little bit of clarity, you know, so that we're not so confused. But it doesn't have to be this way for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month, we have the lovers. 
Gemini energy. Um, there could be someone that really does want to come forward towards you and speak some sort of truth, give you some sort of appreciation. Oh, wow. Um, give you, show you some sort of pre appreciation. Um, there could be a situation in which, you know, maybe you guys had a falling out in the past and, um, you know, they've gone through some re-identifying of their own selves and now they're coming back as a different, a new, improved person. Um, this could be an energy of, you know, unions coming together for you. Maybe you are, maybe you have finally... Um, reached a realization and that's allowing someone to come in towards you. Um, you're manifesting a partner that is in alignment with you or there is a choice that needs to be made here. Often the lovers does really just talk about a choice. It could be a choice between lovers. It could be a choice between paths on your life. I mean, getting back to the imagination oracle, that card that came out for you, you may be re-identifying or reassessing where it is you're going in life and what it is you want to be doing. In this sense, this choice that is before you is a choice of over vice or virtue. In my opinion, that's what this card refers to when it is a choice. Um, the vice being what it is that you know you may have always been doing, what you feel like you should have been doing, what you were taught you should be doing, what's expected of you from others. Virtue being the choice of what your heart truly wants. And with that Knight of Cups that came out as the very first card in your reading, that really could be what you're choosing here, okay? That could be what you're working on imagining here, allowing yourself to dream of, okay? The Lovers is coupled with Judgment. So this really is about this cosmic heart chakra awakening. But also what I'm picking up specifically for some of you out there, there is a counterpart out there. This could be a twin flame, all right? I mean, this is a general reading. If you're not a twin flame, don't worry about it. Um, but this could be a twin flame that, you know, is hearing the call. And I feel like if this is that, if that is the case, then this person is potentially in uh, a karmic relationship. Now, a karmic relationship does not have to be romantic in nature. It could be business-wise. It could be friendships. It could be family ties that are a little unhealthy. Um, but there's definitely a choice to be made and a brand new direction to go in for us, Virgos. <laughs> yeah? I mean, I'm already resonating with this. But it's also about, definitely, it's also about getting back into alignment with yourself, potentially, if that resonates with you, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, you have the Fool. Okay, so Virgo, y'all are going in a new direction here. Or there's someone connected to you, someone that you have been connecting with for a long time, even, I'm hearing, that is about to go in a new direction, potentially, Wow, that's beautiful. The Fool is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so specifically here, this someone, either you or someone else, could be going through a situation. And I'm so sorry, guys. Please excuse the manicure. I haven't, I haven't redone them yet. I'm going to do that tonight. But anyway, moving forward. Um, this is very much an energy of moving on from feeling left out in the cold. So if you've been in a situation where you had um, someone that you... Again, tried to uh, tried to give your heart to or something like that because you two had a connection or still do. I'm not going to say you don't have a connection anymore, but um, this is definitely moving on from that situation in order to not feel left out in the cold any longer, to not feel rejected or used, abused or whatnot. Um, and it's actually, what I'm feeling specifically, it's actually this energy of the Five of Pentacles here, feeling left out in the cold, feeling lack, feeling um, rejected. It's this energy that's propelling you towards this new beginning. Um, it's, it's influencing you, it's helping to influence you here to make a new decision uh, and hear the call towards ascension or a call towards something that is a truer, truer, uh, resonates in a truer, a truer way for you because you don't want to feel like this any longer. Literally, I just heard, I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of being backstabbed, Ten of Swords. I'm tired of feeling betrayed, used, abused. I'm tired of overgiving. That's what I'm hearing here with, with all of these. So, yeah. 
This is all really lining up quite well, Virgo. Your challenge here in your first half of the month, you have the sun. It's interesting that the sun is coming out as your challenge, although I totally get it. Everything is okay. Everything is going exactly how actually it was planned, exactly how it was supposed to. Everything that you're facing right now, Virgo, or that you have faced up until now was exactly what needed to be faced or needed to be experienced is exactly what you chose to experience before coming into this lifetime in order to learn the lessons that you came here to learn. Okay. And in order to help others learn the lessons that they came here to learn. Okay. Because it's not just you that's going through things. There are people around you that are going through things and the people that are around, around you that are associated with these situations that you have been going through, um, are needing to learn their own lessons as well. All right. So the challenge here is understanding that the sun absolutely is still shining, even though it might be pretty cloudy around you and um, that everything is absolutely going to be just fine, okay? A bright future is ahead of you, is what Spirit is saying. So, but the challenge here is in this very moment, probably, or whenever you're watching this, um, if that has passed, you know, if, and the sun has come out, or the sun is still hiding behind the clouds, it's gonna be okay. A bright future is ahead of you, all right? You have to start believing in that. The sun is coupled with the nine of wands. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. You've been persevering. You've been doing it, doing it, doing it and fighting and fighting and fighting and just persevering and just keep, you just keep, you just keep swimming and, and you probably, <laughs> you probably need a little bit of a rest right now for swords. Okay. So take that time to rest and care for yourself as much as you can. There is nothing wrong with that. Please do not be ashamed or feel guilty for the fact that you just need to take some time for you, okay? Your closing uh, message or potential outcome here for the first half of your month, you have the nine of pentacles. Here you are, safe, secure, abundant, financially secure, um, single, potentially. Some of you might be becoming single. Some of you may need to leave a relationship that you've been working very, very hard to keep going. Um, some of you also are leaving behind the idea of some sort of relationship and are fully embracing your singlehood with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is an energy of um, like the bachelor or the bachelorette sometimes. Also, the Nine of Pentacles is an energy of having the rewards for work well done. It's only one step away from that 10, okay? And that 10 could be the, you know, someone else coming into your life to, to add an extra, an extra cherry on top. Um, because I am seeing that for some up, so for, so for some out there, there is a romantic partner that looks like is either thinking about entering your life or is about to enter into your life. And I do feel like with this Ten of Swords energy and the Page of Wands that is in the overall energy, I feel like if there is someone coming in to, for you, you two have a similar background or you have, um, there are some similarities between you and them in some of the things that you may have experienced in the past, okay? So you're gonna have some sort of common ground there. The Nine of Pentacles is coupled with, wow, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there really could be someone coming rushing in. Wow. Someone, I do feel, the biggest thing I feel here is that someone could be coming rushing in to really swoop you off your feet. Um, but also the other thing that I'm feeling here for some of you out there is that this is just fiercely defending your hard won independence. You worked really hard for this Virgo. You've gone through some really tough shit to be in this state right now. Don't forget that. Never ever forget how far you've come or how much you may have been through to be in the physical shoes that you are in right now. Even though it's hard with the sun in, in your challenge section, even though it may be hard to understand that, to really see the accomplishments, I really should be talking to myself, to be honest. 
Um, but even though it may be hard to see that right now, it's still there. And no one can take that away from you, okay? So really be easy with yourself, okay? Be patient with yourself. And instead of focusing on the lack, instead of focusing on what you don't have or what has not yet manifested, instead focus on what is what it is you've been through, how far you've come and how much you've accomplished and give yourself a pat on the back, okay? For the second half of your month, the first, uh, the first set of surrounding energies you have, Virgo, the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. There is a sense of feeling happy. I do feel like as you go through the month of March, you may come out of the, if you're in a funk right now, you may come out of that funk feeling grateful, feeling proud of who you are and what you've accomplished, okay? Looking forward into the future. This might really be a period uh, in which you're able to really see the blessings for all the things that you've been through and really start to focus on manifesting what it is you're truly, truly, Uh, what is truly emotionally fulfilling for you. I'm just seeing, I'm feeling an energy of kind of the sky clearing and you being able to see much with a, with a much clearer vision of what it is you truly want to be moving towards, what you want to be manifesting. Potentially what this choice is, what this new start is, this new direction is go, you're, could be going in is, okay? Ten of Cups is coupled with all right, the page of pentacles. So getting, yeah, so de definitely, this is what I was feeling. So this is definitely an energy of getting the ball rolling, getting started on your manifestations. The, I really do feel like by the end of the month, the, 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 the dust will have settled, the clouds will have cleared, or at least started to clear, and now you can really start to really hit the ground running as far as what it is you truly want to be manifesting here. I do see the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles as um, Virgo energy because Virgo is a mutable, mutable sign and so they really can be placed anywhere and really thrive, okay, in doing the work. Um, I do see Virgo as kind of like a worker bee type of energy. And that's what I'm seeing here with this Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles to me also often speaks to like a level up. So um, this is definitely a situation for some of you where you've now reached that new level in your experience in your life and you can really move forward towards what it is you truly desire instead of what maybe others may have told you you should be working for, okay? Second, sec uh, second set of surrounding energies you have. Wow, you have the Two of Cups. Wow. Spirit is saying this very clearly in my head, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat it for you. But for some of you, there is a relationship that's going to be starting this month. And this Ten of Cups with the, eighth, with the Page of Pentacles could be that offer of someone coming in and saying, Hey, I don't know. Let's start something. Let's get to know each other. Let's get something off the ground here. And it really could be everything that you may have really wanted, really desired. And it could be a situation in which you may have not even known that you desired this, okay? Oh, Virgo. For some of you, this has already happened. Like for some of you, you're already in some sort of partnership um, and I do feel like it's progressing into something that you didn't even know it could have been, okay? That's beautiful. But you have the lovers and you have the Two of Cups. And I often like to say that the Two of Cups is a main, minor arcana version of the lovers. Ooh, Virgo. Two of Cups is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, now you could read this as somebody is juggling lovers. I mean, and that could, be, that could absolutely be it, depending on your situation. But that's not what I'm seeing for the most part. What I'm seeing is you two balancing out 
learning how learning about each other learning uh, how to balance your lives now with this new relationship that is budding between you okay that's really all I'm seeing here. I'm not really seeing anybody cheating or anybody lying or like having multiple partners. That's not, that's not what I'm picking up here. Of course, that's not gonna be everybody. This really could be someone. Okay, well, okay, cool. So in the sense of that, now what I'm getting here in terms of like the lovers and judgment, with the lovers being a choice, okay? Someone may have been juggling multiple partners and now is actually making that choice. Okay. All right. So your challenge in the second half of the month, you have, woo, Lord, the devil. Very interesting. Fear, anxiety, addiction, codependency. Um, for some of you, if you are getting into a relationship here, uh, some of your fears surrounding that could be flared up. Um, but if they do come up or any sort of like toxicity or something, if that comes up, I feel like it's coming up because it's giving you an opportunity to iron that out, to nip it in the bud, to squash it right away, to get that out of there. For some of you also, if there is a relationship coming in, like if you do end up, you know, getting to starting something new with someone, getting to know someone a little better, um, you could be... On an individual level, you could be facing a lot of fear surrounding that. And this really could be a situation in which like a soulmate comes in to help you heal from that, okay? So someone could be coming in and triggering you pretty hard. Others, I'm feeling that this is um, outside, like outside opposition, potentially. If that's like a job or family, friends or something that may not necessarily approve of the situation. I, I don't feel like that's any reason to not move forward with the relationship. I feel like that's being brought up for you to face it and move, go with what your heart is asking for or what your heart is calling for instead of what like society may say about it or your circle may say about it, okay? The devil is coupled with, yeah, the five of swords. Yeah, deception, backstabbing, um, one-upmanship, uh, jealousy, ego battles, lots of jealousy I'm feeling in that. Um, sabotage. Sabotage. So to give some scenarios, if you were dealing with someone that has been kind of juggling back and forth, may not have necessarily been really wanting to commit to a situation, but now all of a sudden they do, um, there could be like an, the other person that they that they that you that um, that they didn't choose may be trying to sabotage things. Um, that's not to scare anybody, but that's just like to put some perspective into what this energy feels like. Okay, the challenge is to overcome any sort of um, sabotage that you may f see experience in relation to this. Okay. Your closing message or the potential outcome here for the end of your month of March, you have, ooh, the Three of Swords. Wow. I did not expect that one. The Three of Swords is coupled with the Page of Swords. Yes, that's, that makes sense. So there's going to be someone out there that could get wind of this new relationship that's starting between the two of you and is super heartbroken about it. You also could be that person that is super heartbroken about it. So I hate to say it, but maybe this person chose someone else over you and that's terrible. I mean, well, I mean, but everybody has their own free will and that's, that probably could be heartbreaking. And so there's going to be an energy of spying here with the Page of Swords, okay? This also could be that other person um, that's trying to sabotage the situation. They're heartbroken about it, all right? Uh, unless you are on the end of 
the rejection of not being chosen, I don't feel like you guys are, Virgo here is going to be really heartbroken. The, heart, the, the heartbreak is on behalf of the person that didn't get chosen. Okay. So there you have it, Virgo. Uh, I, I'm sorry that it ended on such an icky note, um, but just keep your eyes open for any sort of sabotaging type energies. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there it is, guys. I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your patience. Again, if you would like to uh, look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the, is in the description box below. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.